Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time joining in, welcome. Uh, my name is Allie and I am a flight attendant for a regional airline and I am also a mom. So, get your coffee because us moms need this. We live on this. I need this in like an IV every single day, even when I'm not being a mom at home. <laughs> and let's dive into this video. I wanted to sit down with y'all today and talk about how in a month I balance being a flight attendant, a wife, but most importantly, a mom. I get asked so often, how do you do it? I get asked by moms who I know that reach out to me and want to know how does it work because it seems pretty impossible to have this career with little ones. My son is five and my daughter is three and I wanted to really just explain how it all works, how I juggle it all. As a reserve flight attendant, first off, everyone who becomes a commercial flight attendant, you are on what's re called reserve in the beginning. And basically reserve just means that you don't know your schedule. Um, well, excuse me, you know your days off and you know the days that you have to be in base whether it's on call or sitting at the airport ready to go, um, which is called airport standby, or you actually do, you are assigned a trip and you don't know until the day before what your next day schedule is going to be. As a reserve flight attendant, pretty much the only thing you have control over is your days off. So it could be a bit more challenging, especially for those of us like myself who commute. I don't live in base. Uh, I'll explain that a little bit. Um, and a lot of people ask me, oh, well, you live near a major airport, Houston, in Houston. Why can't you just be based there? Well, it's not up to me, unfortunately. It's up to the company that you work for. So the airlines have specific bases or hubs that they operate out of and those are the ones that they base they put their flight attendants and their pilots there to work trips out of so i am based in dallas dfw airport and i love that airport that airport's so easy to navigate but unfortunately it is three and a half hours away from where i live since today is January 31st and tomorrow starts the new month of February, I figured I would show y'all my schedule and tell y'all how I make it work. So this is my February schedule and the, the ones in blue are my days off and everything with the X's are days that I have to go be in base to be available to work. So as flight attendants, we cannot work any more than six days in a row uh, you can't be available any more than that otherwise it causes a conflict um, and you really don't want to six days is enough you, you need a break after that so this one day right here I had six days of work prior to this so this was my one day off and then this I'll explain in a minute because this isn't one of my days off this is a personal day that I took but I'm on call, I would be, I would have to get back to base on this day, and this day, these four days, I'm good for. Now, if they use me during this period, let's say I fly, you know, these three days, and then I'm on call this one, sometimes if I get the, the wrap, which is at home, standby or when you're at home, excuse me, waiting to be called, uh, I can get sometimes released early because I'm not good for anything else because then I have a day off here. So if they release me early, I can drive home on this evening or day, whatever, or if I'm on a trip, same thing. If I get done earlier or just get done flying on this day and <clears throat> scheduling releases me then I can drive home here spend another night at home and then I'm off for these periods of time and because I commute I always like this like to make sure that I have a period periods of more than excuse me periods of three or four days off um, in a row so that I am able to spend more time at home two days just isn't enough for me to 
you know, have real good quality time with my family. So this is how I'd like to make my schedule work for me. So then I'll have these days off and then I'll be on call again for five days. And then again, if I'm on call or if I get released early, whatever, I usually am able to drive home right here. And then I spend three days at home. But, excuse me, I should have said this a minute ago. This, this last day, these days that I have that are my last ones to be home, I do have to use part of these days to commute back home. Because I drive, I'm able to just kind of make it, like leave when I want to. I can leave as late as I want to. It's just a three and a half hour drive. It just depends on what I have going on if I need to go back and do laundry at my crash pad or whatever. Just, you know, depends on what I have to do. But I do have to get back to base on my day off in order to be on call and ready to go for this day. And sometimes it works out where they assign me a trip on say this day and it doesn't leave until 7 or 8 p.m. and then I'm able to spend another night at home and then I'll drive up on the day that I'm on call because usually they don't make you work any earlier. Whatever you're assigned is what you're assigned. So that's how that works. So those are my days off. This PO day I had, um, I had to request for because if I did put one of my days off here, then I wouldn't be able to come home because I would really only have two days off. It just wouldn't be, you know, as easily accessible for me to get home and, and, and enjoy my time away from home, but, or away from base, excuse me. Um, but this personal day, uh, I had to take, um, because I have to go to mediation for an 18 wheeler accident that I was involved in. So that's why that's there. So I was able to come home. I'm actually able to come home one, two, three, four times this month. So that's kind of nice. But the rest of the time where these exes are, I am away from my kids. I'm away from my husband. I'm gone. I'm in Dallas or unless I'm flying, but I am gone <clears throat> from them. Now, when it comes to how I balance, or how I should say we balance, because it's really not just me that balances my family life when I am gone. When I am gone away from my family, my family is my support system. As a mom and a flight attendant, I feel like you really have to have a good support system, like a good schedule um my kids stick to a schedule there sometimes it can change a little bit here and there but for the most part there's a schedule there's a method to when I'm gone I have my mom and my dad that are here to help my dad is um, a semi-retired pilot and my mom actually works for the daycare that my daughter goes to I do also have my sister-in-law she is amazing uh, one of my husband's sisters, she helps also uh, mostly on the weekends uh, and she'll spend the night and help out on days that my parents can't. So, and then of course I have my husband. He's amazing and he holds the fort down here at home. Like, he is incredible. He has really stepped up his game since I've become a flight attendant. So, I'm proud of him uh, and I'm glad we're able to make this work. Like this is what I always saw myself doing and now that I'm actually a flight attendant, I, I couldn't be happier. Um, yes, I am away from my kids and, and that does suck from time to time, but as long as you know going into it that you're going to be away, there's a possibility that you're not going to be around for holidays. You're not going to be home for Christmas. I wasn't home for Christmas or New Year's this year. I was able to go home on New Year's Eve because of my layover, but that just happened to work out. Other than that, I would have been gone. So as long as you know those things going in and you're prepared for it, it'll be, it'll, it'll be okay. Like it's not, I feel like I have a better balance on my life now than I ever did before and everything's good. And don't let anyone, you know, shame you or make you feel like, I don't know, guilty or something for wanting to do this because they don't know. And quite frankly, it's none of their business. They don't understand and that's okay. But I hope to give more insight because it's happened to me. Um, I get people that have 
straight up told me, I just don't know how you can leave your children. That's just, ugh, I can't believe a mom could leave their child. Like, okay. Um, I knew going into this career that that's a possibility. I will be gone four days at a time. I will miss holidays possibly, but nobody can take your happiness away. So don't let anyone make you feel guilty or make you feel like you're a bad mom for wanting to do this career because it's up to you and your happiness, not anybody else's, it's about you. And if you really want it, go for it. Like, I love what I do and this career is amazing. It has very many benefits and do it for you. And in all honesty, like, <clears throat> if I don't set an example for my kids and I never went after my dream, which was to become a flight attendant, like, how can I expect them to pursue their dreams and you know, know that that's possible. So I just wanted to set an example for them for their future. Because I want them to be anything that they want to be when they grow up and be happy doing it. Well, that's it for this video. I hope this helped any of y'all out there who are moms looking to get into this career and how to make it work. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. I would very much be happy to answer them for you if you have any more for me. Thanks so much for watching and I will see y'all next time.